And um, now we're gonna attempt to put the, not attempt, Brandon can do it. We're gonna put, he's gonna put it back together. No, what are we doing? We're reversing the process. We're putting this back on, which I think was what we took off last. After we cleared all the dust out of everywhere. I think that just sits in here, kind of. I don't know why they said to use a guitar pick, it's just kind of barely sitting there. You just grab on right here and pull it out. No big deal. Alright. Now we have to plug in all these little cables back in and everything. And I think they could have designed them better, but that's just me. Are they real hard to put in? Do they just kind of slip in there? I don't really know how they work. Um, it's kind of a, a cable without a plug on the end of it. Mm -hmm. And it kind of just inserts in oh. and it has a piece of plastic that kind of just hmm. snaps together. So we disconnected quite a few of these cables. So I've never done this before. If I can do it, anybody can probably do it. If you've got a mind for this sort of thing, you know, electronics or tools and that sort of thing, you know. Um, put the screws back in. Back on. Which, um... The screen's going back on. Which goes something like this. Where did we put the, the screen screws? Did we put those over here? You don't remember? I don't remember. Why would I remember? I remember that ground goes right there. And what wires are those ones? These are wires for the screen and just whatever, I don't know. I don't know what they are. They're connected to the screen though, so they're for the screen. This is the one that comes through here on the bottom. Let me put these screws back in. Up here, before I flip it around. Yeah, these are the screws that go here. Okay. Now I can flip it around and get this wire through here. Now let's make sure all these connections are connected properly because we don't want to put it back together and then find out it's not working properly because we didn't plug one of the wires in right. Then you have to spend another hour taking it apart and looking in here and figuring out what you did wrong. Keyboard goes back on now. Yeah, this would be a good time to replace it. <clears throat> yeah, my keyboard's not real good. Some of the letter stick, which is uh, not real good for somebody who does a lot of writing and typing. So, so let me show ex an example of these connections they've got on these laptops. Show this right here. This is just a, a cable with no attachment on it for the keyboard. Where's the cable? That's that? the cable for oh, the that's... keyboard. It's just a piece of plastic with some metal wires in it. Mm -hmm. And look at that. There's nothing, there's mm -hmm. nothing there. It's just and it kind of just inserts in. There's this little plastic white piece here. Here, let me get something small. This white piece moves a little bit in and out. 
Let me pull it out here. This isn't the right screwdriver. I don't have small tools. You will need some small tools. See how that comes out a little bit? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, that's how you unplug it. You pull that little white thing out, and then it just slips out, and, the, and then you reverse it to put it back in. You just set that in there like that, and then you push the white piece back this way. That's it. Should be plugged in. Okay. Two screws. I believe it's these little tiny ones, are isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. There's about 50 screws here, but I'm pretty sure it's these ones over here. When we put this video together on the computer, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find all, out when we turn all, the computer it's on. on the video. <laughs> the Brazil cover goes back on. Brazil, or however they call it. That was the hard thing to take off. I'm not one for pronunciations. Should just snap in the place. Oh yeah, it was easier to put on and take off. Hmm. There. Look at that, it's getting back together. Starting to look normal again. You know I read, anyway, when you have a laptop you should use an external keyboard, it said because they're not made to sit there and be pounding on all the time. We put all those screws that we took on the outer edges back. There's long ones and there's short ones. I believe the long ones go, like for an example, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but you've got, you know, that, that goes in, the screw drops in there. Mm -hmm. That's where the long ones go. The shorter ones go, like right here, it doesn't really drop in, you kind of just... Mm -hmm. My suggestion is if anybody's going to attempt to doing this, to clean their fan, is to make notes for themselves. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we are, we're almost finished um, putting the back on got about 20 screws that go back there. Okay, the DVD goes back. Just like that, and then you pop the screw oh, in. Easy enough. This goes back, and this uses the black wire here. Right here. Yeah, I remember that part. You said black on top, white on bottom. No, we're not to that yet. Oh. This is the <laughs> modem or the wireless oh. card reader. I don't remember which one it was. There's a uh, little manual online with photos. There is, they're not really giving you instructions on how to unplug the wires and stuff, but it tells you step by step what to unplug and to go from there. And um, and so you can read that in concession with the video. Now this one is the one with the black and white wire. And these cables are nearly the smallest yet. But it plugs in. Don't force anything, you know. It plugs in pretty simply. It's small, so just make sure you're putting it on straight. And it should just... Just make sure it's straight. Set it on top of there, and then it should just plug in. Yep, there it goes. Didn't take any force at all. The rest of this, I almost, I just kind of know what this is. This is the memory. This should... I do desktop memory all the time, but laptop is only a little bit harder. Should just snap in like that, and then it comes down and snaps in. The hard drive should set down and then just kind of slip in like that.
think you just put the cover on and it holds it in place. And then the battery. Pop back in. Let's lift the lid. Everything seems buttoned down. Let's plug it in and see how All she rips. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's turning on, okay. Let's see if the fan is spinning. Oh yeah, it's spinning all right. All right, you fixed it, Brandon. So that was the problem. All right. So I got dust. my computer back. So that took an hour exactly between take down and put back together. All right. Do it yourself project when you have dust in the fan. Take care. Bye-bye.